not very big, but not all in all bad either. Double odd buck out of that uh, muzzle loader. Scaring the birds, everything's scared. So hey, check it out. Um, that deer was shot at five o'clock. It's now ten o'clock, and I'm cooking some deep. Uh, I took one of the, the tenderloins off, and I took a piece off the rump over here. That's the tenderloin here. Yeah, uh, she's just a little doe, but she's gonna taste good. There was four of them out there. Hey, so I'm eating it right out of the cast iron. <laughs> Right onto a piece of bamboo. I got a little bit of uh, pear to go with it. Or uh, green pepper is good with it too. The only thing I got in there is uh, a little bit of that chives from the garden and uh, just salt and pepper. Cooked it in a little bit of not very much bacon fat, but very much at all. Just enough to keep it from sticking to the bottom. And I'll tell you, it's scrum diddly umptious. This is part of the tenderloin. I'm going to go try that now. I'll let you know what that tastes like. Well, hey, check it out. I'll show you something else I did. I pickled something that was pretty cool. And they really taste good. I had a fair amount of beans. You can pickle your beans. And you pickle your beans just like cucumbers. And they contain all the nutritional value that's in a, a bean that they're pickled and they'll last, they'll last you all winter and it's easy you just put them in some pickle juice and right boil your brine and dump it in on them keep it in a cool place well, I'll show you what they taste like I actually like peppers on mine they're pepper so I'll put some on Yeah. Just a little snifter of the good stuff to go with it. It's my blood sacrifice for the deer harvest. Try one of these. Mm. When I when I pickle these. I use more of a pickle flavor when I do the cucumbers. I don't make it that pickly, but I, I like to make it more garlicky. Anyway, these are still pretty good. We, uh, we pickled some uh, potatoes up the camp last year. That turned out pretty good. They ate them this year and uh, they are scrum diddly umptious. I know you guys don't want to hear me eat. I'll talk to you later. Hey, so check it out. Uh, hornets. The piece of the corner, uh, the front leg, it got hit a couple of times, so I give it to the dog for dog food. So there was probably another five pounds of meat on that. But uh, I got 30 pounds, five gallon bucket of, uh, of meat, of just meat. And uh, I got a five gallon bucket of uh, dog food, so that's all right. I'll cook the dog food up here in the big pot later on, and uh, I'm gonna process this down into hamburger. So I debone everything, I don't keep any of the bones. Anything that's left on the bones goes to the dog. So it's all used except for the hide and the guts. Usually I'm pushing it in with my other hand, but I'm trying to do it with one hand. Show you guys. <laughs> 